Hi everyone, uh, so this is my long-awaited tutorial, uh, finally getting around to doing it, uh, to show you how to deal with your, your work in progress. And so um, I wanted to show you not this, but this. Uh, so this is a slide that I'm going to be working on today. Um, and uh, I'm going to try and go move through as quickly as possible. I might do some pauses in between while I just do some background work um, and then come back to you. So uh, it's not going to be a step-by-step -step process, but rather to show you a kind of overall view of the sorts of things that, uh, that you might be doing in your development. So um, just going back to uh, some of the previous design development work that I've done. Uh, so we started over here. So if you remember, I start off with everything being glass and then realizing that you know there was some privacy issues there uh, and I've detailed that uh, in this section here. Uh, so then in uh, version 2, so this is the kind of iteration version, so I'm now improving the, the, uh, the design, um, hopefully, or at least I'm trying to improve the design. So here I'm uh, making some of these walls solid and some of these balconies solid so that uh, they provide more more privacy or certainly the feeling of more privacy um, for the apartment dwellers. So then in the next slide here now I'm starting to look at the other side so this is more of a kind of version uh, approach to design development so I've got this version here which has got these uh, long vertical strips of concrete uh, that are suspended outside of the uh, of the curtain glass or glass curtain walls um, and so this is what it looks like on the inside there's some pros and cons to it um, I'll let you have a look at that on the, um, the shortened instructions slideshow then uh, I did another version so this is version number one right so version number one with vertical strips and version number two with horizontal strips uh, this is not that successful uh, there's significant issues with that and so what I'm going to do now is I'm going to try and combine those two things together, right? Uh, and so uh, going back to, I'm going to be mostly doing a, a, an iteration of this. Um, so I've chosen to do something more like this, but I might include some vertical elements. And I'm not sure how that's going to work out yet. And so that's the kind of process that I wanted to show you today. So, um, so starting with this, the problem with this is that it provides privacy, yes, and some openings, yes, but not necessarily in the right places. So what I want to do is I want to go and look at what should it look like, or where should I have, what, where do I need privacy, and where do I not need privacy, and how should it look. So let's go and look at that. So uh, I'm just trying out my, my hotkeys here. This should, no, this doesn't work. Uh, I'm going to take you, yes, I'm taking you to sketching here. Um, so here's my sketchbook. And so what I'm looking at here is um, a sketch of the side view of one of the apartments. So I've got balcony, living area, kitchen, bedroom, bathroom, another bedroom, and then the walkway here. All right, and so I'm interested in where do I need privacy and where do I not need privacy. So I'm saying that on the balcony and the living area, I don't really need that much privacy. Um, I might put one screen in, and I think I'm kind of put it sort of where the kitchen joins the, the living area, sort of there. So maybe that area there could be screened. And then in the bedroom, again, I do need some privacy. I don't need lots of it. Definitely the bathroom needs a lot of privacy. It still needs some light, and so I'm not quite sure how I'm going to do that. But I'm thinking that since the Kit, uh, sorry, since the actual shower is kind of here, I might actually put the the screen in this area here. So including some of the bedroom, let's say there. So let's say that's going to be screened off there. And then in this bedroom, hmm, let's see. So uh, I might do something kind of similar, maybe something like this. Like that, and then uh, again, yeah, maybe the walkway. So, you know, one of the kind of questions to ask that I'm asking myself is, should the screening show what's happening in behind or not? 
Um, and I've decided to go with not. So what I'm trying to do here is I'm trying to confuse where the divisions between the spaces are on the inside based on the outside. Right, so if I have my screens like this, it's not very clear where things are happening inside of the inside of the apartment. I'm going to make this a bit skinnier because I want lots of light in the living area. I'm going to make this skinnier as well. That. So I think that's going to be my this is going to be my scheme, right? Uh, the walkway is going to be mostly un, uncovered. Uh, and then so for the vertical element, so you know in the vertical version of it, I did something like this. Um, and maybe I want to incorporate that in some areas. So for example, in the bathroom, I might do this. And hmm, let's see, maybe in the kitchen as well. So this might be this might be the thing that I'm going to do. So so something like this. And then maybe in this bedroom it continues on here like that. And it might be a different panel or sit on top or behind or maybe it so maybe it overlaps there, I'm not sure. So as you can see, you know, I'm really just kind of inventing this as I as I go. Alright. So um, let's now go back to to my slideshow. So this is going to be what I'm going to be working on. So let's see, have I set this up? Yes. So here is my um, my side elevation here. So I'm going to get rid of these panels for now. Um, I should have uh, saved probably the, uh, the old version, but I haven't. So I just got to live with that. So so here's the the glazing, right? And so now I'm going to work out where I'm going to put my um, my panels. Now, working here is not so helpful because I can't see what's happening in behind the apartment and inside the apartment. So actually in this case, I'm going to start I'm going to work over here on an actual on the actual apartment. So let's see, I'm going to select this to gray everything else out and then now I'm going to I think what I'll do is I'll just kind of create one rectangle each section so let's see is this all still one yeah so these are all still components so that's good so I can just make a rectangle on here it's not going to interfere with things too much so I said that I was going to make a rectangle let's see I think maybe here maybe to coincide yeah that might be quite interesting Yeah, that's good. Good. Uh, so not quite that. So I think what I'll do is I'm going to make it just for one apartment, and I'll just stretch it out to to kind of follow the rest of the apartments out. So let's see. Something like this. So that's one. I'm going to do. Oh, I see. So this goes back on an angle. So I can't really create a panel there. So I think I'll just do a panel just from this corner and see how that goes. It won't be the same depth as this. Actually it doesn't really matter. I'll just do that. So this and what am I going to do here? So in the bedroom uh, I'm just looking back at my... oh yeah so it goes for a sort of from here. So because these are all this is all uh, the kitchen area uh, and the kitchen cabinetry. I might just cover those over. So maybe do something like maybe provide quite a bit of privacy there. Oh, not too much. Uh, sort of maybe that. Cool. I'll just do that, and then in the bathroom I want lots. So I want to leave a little gap on this side. So we'll go. There. Hmm. Yeah, actually, I'm going to leave that there, and then in the bedroom. Hmm. 
Oh yeah, so it's, it was going to cover over between the bedroom and the walkway. So something like that. I think that's pretty good. Yeah, I think that that, that does what I need it to do in terms of privacy. Um, and hopefully it'll look interesting as a pattern. So let's see what it looks like over here. Yeah, okay. Good, so this is good. Right, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to model this uh, and then I'll come back and we'll see how, we're, how we get on. All right, so I'm back. Uh, and so here we are. So I've now modeled this part. Right, pretty straightforward modeling job. Um, I've offset it slightly from the, from, the, uh, from the wall, so by 200 mils. I haven't discussed how I'm attaching these yet. That's a whole other issue. Uh, I may get to that. I may never get to that. Uh, it, it really just depends. Uh, oh, I'm just checking to see if these are all the same height. They look like they're pretty much good. So, um, so that's what it looks like now. Now, uh, getting back to um, getting back to Mimeo, um, we wanted to sh we want to look at uh, these little sections here. Um, which I'm going to add as kind of horizontal elements. Um, so, and there might be a horizontal element here to kind of mirror that. So, like that kind of thing. So, um, what I'm going to do now is I'll go back. So, this is what it should look like. So, I'll refer to this. Uh, you won't be able to see that, but um, that's okay. Uh, let's see if I can get back. Check. Yep. Um, so, so now I'm going to add these kind of horizontal sections in. Um, I wonder how tall they should be. Hmm. So, let's see. Uh, oh, actually, I just had this idea that maybe they shouldn't fit exactly over the windows. Oh, oh yeah. Okay. Good. Good. So here's a kind of development on the idea as we go. Um, so in the kitchen area, which is here, I'm going to add in a section, right? So let's see if I just, I'm just going to, I'm just going to draw a straw in, right? So let's say there, right? So now what have I got here? Um, so firstly, this is not inside of the uh, component. So let me just put it inside of the, um, of the facade component. So I'll just go control X. To delete it, then go inside of this component and go edit paste in place. All right, so now it's, it's where it's meant to be. Uh, good, so now hmm, I think I'm just going to extrude it out. All of these things are, are for some reason, I'm stuck on 200 mils. All right, so everything's going to be 200 mils for, for now. So there's one piece there. That's looking all right. Uh, and then I'll add the other pieces in. So um, I think what I'll do is I'll just copy them over and then just change their their size. So I hit the control key. Wow, no, not that. That was a bad idea. So I select the whole thing. So I'm not using components at this stage because I don't want to um, have them not work properly. So I think this is going to be here. So I'm hitting the right arrow key to Make sure they align everything up. Uh, so like that, that should be good. Uh, I'll come back and change that in a minute. Uh, now I'm going to take this corner and again move it over. Oh yeah, so to the bedroom section, which is here. And again, I want to hit the right arrow key so that I'm going in the red direction and then Put it there, and then the walkway should be somewhere here. I'm not sure about this part here. This is looking a little bit um, iffy, but that's okay. So uh, let's see. So these ones should be smaller. So I'm just going to push this in a bit. Let's say to there, and this part I'm going to push in again. Um, yeah, this is. Quite small this part actually like that 
So you notice, notice that I'm not really using any measurements or anything, which is not great, but so it's sort of not the end of the world uh, for this for these purposes. So uh, I think here I'm going to make a solid block along here, but I think I might just leave that for now. Um, I'm just going to deal with these parts here. So make all of these components. Create. Make a component. Create. And make that a component as well. Good. So, um, so some questions I've got for myself are, is this where they should be in space? Should they be on the inside? Should they be on the outside or slightly offset? I'm starting to think that maybe I might slightly offset them. So that they're actually attached to these panels. I think that might be a good idea. So I'm just going to move this over by 100 mils. In a green direction, 100 mils, like that. So they're kind of half on, half off. Cool, that's good. Now we want to do that on every floor. So let's go ahead and do that. So take all of these and use the move tool. And now I'm going to do be a little bit tricky here. I'm going to move from not the actual object. So I'm going to click on this piece here and then I'm going to move down, obviously hit the control key, and I'm going to move down to be in line with this. So now I've got two of them and I need four in total so I'm going to go X3 like that and so there we go. So there's my there's my design. Is that right? Is that right? Yeah, yes, that's good. Okay, cool. So, so that's what it looks like. Hmm. I don't know. I'm not. I'm not sure if this is good. Uh, I think it's kind of. It's a bit clunky, maybe. Um, it might need a little bit more development. But uh, let's take some screenshots now. Uh, actually, I might just hide these, uh, and then take a screenshot, and then put that in, and then add the next parts in. So I'll just take all of these. Uh, obviously, I'll also uh, take an image of my sketch to kind of add into my into my development. So I right click hide. Oh wow! Uh, hide, and then take my screenshot. Something like that, uh, and then copy, and then I might as well do it all now go so we'll take get rid of this in progress thing and just paste all right so there's my first image into my slideshow okay so i'm going to go back uh, i'm going to have a little pause and i'll be back with uh, the next version